Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. I have, as you can see, reorganized the split 5.5 gallon, and check out my new male. Look at him. He's so cute. He's obviously flaring at um, Master Ball because they just met each other a few minutes ago. So of course, there's there's gonna be flaring happening. Now, um, Master Ball's right here. He's back in this tank after he had a three-day break where he started to grow back his fins. As you can see, the damage is still quite a bit from when he got stuck and ripped his fin, but it's growing back quite well. So now he's back in here. I rearranged his, um, decorations. So as you can see, there's nothing for him to get stuck behind or, you know, rip his fins on again. So he should do well in this setup. Here is the koi male. He is a red and black um, half moon black hat, I believe. That would be the correct term. Now in Petco, he was labeled as a female. So before I put him in this tank, well, I had him in quarantine. I posted some pictures on uh, two different beta Facebook groups just to confirm. I thought he was a male, but I wanted to see what other people were saying just to be sure. And turns out that indeed he was mislabeled and is a male, which makes me kind of concerned about how much fish, how many fish could be mislabeled. Because I already have, there's already color forms that are mislabeled in PetSmart all the time and Petco. Um, but I have never come across a gender. Uh, mislabeling before so that's kind of concerning look at look how fussy he is so fussy ideally he will lose interest in master ball in about a week if he does not I will do a different um, divider but I think this is a better option of these two as neighbors because master ball does get intimidated by males that are larger than him so because this koi male is smaller as you can see see he just doesn't care too much about him he doesn't feel threatened by him being here and of course this guy is really excited and wants to fight because he's just in a new tank and then there's a male and everything's new look he's even flaring at me so he's just so sassy so sassy right now hi i saw you flare at me i saw that you butt silly fish so that is currently what the tank looks like. Now, of course, I did put in a large almond leaf in here because I want some of um, the tennis in this tank so that this guy can continue to um, grow out his fins again. And then, of course, you know, it's good for the tank and the well-being of all the fish involved. So there it is. Well, he just went, I don't even know where the koi male went. He's probably behind the leaf. The leaf just kind of fell in a, in a way that's kind of blocking everything. I also have another leaf right back there that's right against the wall. So it creates this little barrier, so visual barrier, so he, he this guy doesn't have to feel see the other male and feel bothered all the time. Oh, by the way, Banana needs to say hi. Banana, hey. Hey, Sleepy. Say hi to everybody. Banana says hi. Okay, back to the fish. So I will be vlogging... I'm making these longer vlog type videos um, on my vlog channel, Creative Pet Vlogs, a bit more often. I, I've only been making one video a week, but I'll try to do more. So I'm just letting you guys know if you like these longer form videos where you just see me talk and show you my fish. Uh, I will still be doing them on here, Creative Pet Keeping, um, once in a while. But um, I prefer to keep longer videos that are more vlog style on my other channel. So if you are interested in fish and watching my life and banana and all the other pets definitely subscribe if you're interested in that if not then you know I'll still be posting updates on here so don't worry about it but yeah this is the male uh, he is quite lovely I do man I do love koi very very much definitely my favorite color types I would love to get a orange um, and black koi as well as uh, yellow and black. It would be awesome to have all those colors one day one day But he's, he seems to like his new tank He has a lot of room 
he has a little bit more room because the filter does take up the room in the middle and I wanted the filter to be positioned in the middle so there's good um, water movement I did uh, end up see that my air pump is right here I did end up getting this valve here with um, a check valve at the bottom and then this lets me adjust airflow and this way I attach two tubes now so I finally have a uh, sponge filter going on this tank with also some sponges uh, from my other tanks with the bacteria so that way this greatly speeds up the uh, cycling process and I also have a little heater this little heater is not very adequate but it's something so my silver uh, male well I call him silver because he looks silver to me but in all honesty his color is technically a copper metallic and of course he has a lot of leaves under here because this is a bare bottom tank so he I don't know it's just a you know it's cycling it's kind of doing its thing it's nothing fancy yet but this guy seems to be really happy in this tank he because he's such a long finned male and he's very active I think he prefers the option of being able to look at this male or then look at the females down here it's a bit more interesting for him I do still need to get a light for this tank but because I have plants that are a low light it's not really a big concern also this is good because this male is so excited he's over here now this way he's not always flaring at master ball he can also um, flare at this guy so the aggression is a little bit more evened out so he's not focused on just one fish he's so look at him he's so excited Look at this. He's so cute and spunky. Definitely need a nice name for him. So definitely leave your name suggestions um, in the comments. I think I might start doing um, polls on Patreon. Because I do have a Patreon uh, page that allows you guys to give me support by pledging monthly um, tips or donations. It's not required. Obviously, I still do free videos for you guys regardless but if you want to help the channel and pitch in and be part of like an extra community that I'm gonna start fostering on patreon then definitely go over there and check it out I'll send you guys a link I still um, haven't figured out how I'm gonna change the rewards at the moment I think the only thing I have is if you pledge two dollars you have access to my patreon feed where um, I'll be posting bonus information so we'll see if you guys have any suggestions for some uh, rewards that you guys would like to do, uh, well, have me do, such as um, one I thought would be to open um, Patreon to voting for names of bettas as, as well as posting extra photos of bettas. So besides updating my Instagram where I have photos, if you want to see extra uh, photos of the fish, maybe I thought I could be um, making that a part of the rewards for patreon um, I considered for a while maybe once in a while doing an unlisted video as bonus for patrons I don't know if you guys would like that but what it does is pretty much just helps me have the um, the money to help support this channel um, help this channel grow and then all the money pretty much goes back into this so equipment fish equipment future tank setups um, camping trips for banana where we go on adventures you know stuff like that so it's totally optional you know you don't have to do it but if you do it's kind of awesome it's it's a great way to show support um besides obviously commenting liking my videos subscribing and becoming part of the notification squad where you click that little bell next to the subscribe button and uh you get to see get alerted of all my videos right when they are uploaded so yeah look at him he's such a butt Layering. Let me show you the other betta I got. So moving over here, I have my guppies and endlers in their uh, separate tank. Well, little blue. Bleh, I can't words. I can't word today. My breeding container. They're still in here for a while, and I'll be releasing them soon. But I want them to keep breeding for a while. And right here, in the temporary breeding container, and of course all the bubbles that gathered up here, we have the second koi. This is a female who is quite large. She is fully grown. Um, she was labeled as male, but does have an egg, sp egg spot under her tummy. And definitely is acts like a female, at least for now. So just to be 100% sure, besides the fact that I asked some people to help ID if she is a female for me, 
because she was mislabeled and everyone said she looked like a female. Um, I just want to be sure and keep her in here for another week as I observe. The other pro to having a um, bed on a breeding container is because this female is larger than my other females in the sorority, you want her to kind of get used to all the females and not be as aggressive towards them and kind of lose interest. And spending some time in a breeding container will do just that. So it kind of ensures that your fish will be, um, you know, they'll, they'll kind of acclimate and get used to each other and be less likely to fight amongst each other because she is larger and if she really wanted to, has the potential to damage the females a bit more because of her size advantage. So just doing that just helps keep everyone safe. So cute. When the male grows up, it's so tempting to breed, but like I've said in previous videos, I don't really have a goal or plan or setup for breeding, so I can't, unfortunately, right now. I mean, I can if I really wanted to, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be very good to do so. So here is the pretty much update. I wanted to make this a longer video because I know some of you guys really enjoy just watching me fish, you know, doing fishy things, interacting with each other. So... This video does just that. Of course, we're going to need suggestions to name this female as well. So leave those in the comments down below. And kind of let me think, um, let me think, blah, I can't words, I'm so tired today. Let me know what you think of these two bettas. Um, I think I won't be getting any more bettas for a while because unless I set up more tanks and I don't have the time to really maintain any more tanks. I think that might be it. But I think I have a nice variety of different bettas and guppies and endlers. I do need to get some bottom feeders on here or some sort of fish that do like to eat some algae to help me deal with this algae problem that I'm developing. I did um, decrease the amount of light I have in this tank. I do need to do another bigger water change to help with that. So I'll be doing a couple things to help work on this tank. Um, eventually when I release the guppies and endler adults, they will also help with the algae because they will nibble on everything, but I did, um, want to give them a chance to breed again. Here is a female guppy, and then you see the male endler is right next to her, and this is a nice somewhat planted breeding container where they can nibble on things and algae and, and food and also feed them extra, and if there's any babies they can hide. So it's a nice little setup, but I might be releasing them soon, I think. I think it is almost time to do so, plus they'll provide another awesome distraction for all the females before I release this um, female. But I really don't like having all these breeding containers hanging up here. And of course, my Endler Live Bear um, Fry are in here, all the little babies. There's about... 15 of them roughly um, They're doing well. They're growing out. They will have to be in here for quite a while Until they are big enough to be released so they won't be eaten by the bettas, but I'm giving them a chance To kind of grow out and of course they'll get, get a groomy blah. I can't speak today Goodness gracious grace upon the fire But yeah, they'll be released soon. So I'll have a nice group to have in here maybe when this tank cycles um, I will probably maybe put some antlers in here, maybe some juveniles. This tank should cycle faster because of the media I already have in here. It'll speed up the process quite a bit. So we'll see what's going on, going on here. I definitely want to set up this tank to kind of look like a to stereotypical, like brackish, really dark. Uh, tank with a lot of leaf litter and I want to get more driftwood and kind of make it look like more natural So it won't be like the most fanciest easy to see tank because it won't be as bright and clean looking as these tanks Well, these have algae and this is not, this is not super clean looking, but that one over there is clean looking But this will be a cool example of like what a more natural habitat for a betta would look like besides the water height I guess a more natural better habitat would be, the water would be a little lower, but it would be a cool example to try to recre recreate so other uh, hobbyists and people who are just interested in, you know, 
branching out and trying more things that their beta tanks can try to do if I figure it out. It'll be a cool example. I found an online retailer that does sell a lot of cool leaves and a lot of cool stuff, leaf litter and a lot of other things you can put inside your tank to recre recreate those um, conditions. So yeah, I'll be doing that. Maybe the other backup plan would be also to make this um, a shrimp tank with better to get some um, cherry shrimp. I don't know yet. I've never kept, I've had um, ghost shrimp before, but I've never had cherry shrimp. So I don't know if this tank would be good or if this tank would be good because this tank is larger and has more stable water parameters. I don't know. Uh, I found a cool YouTuber um, that just specializes in shrimp care. And I'll probably uh, add a link in the description to his channel. Um, so I've been watching all his videos and kind of really learning about shrimp. So if you want to learn more about shrimp, uh, definitely check out his channel. And if you like my channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are new and are watching this video for the first time, I have so many fish videos and other pet care videos. So over a hundred. So you can check all those out. I have a lot of playlists. You can look through if you um, want to find things a little easier. So be sure to do that. Uh, be sure to support this uh, video by giving it a thumbs up. It definitely helps in some sort of way. I don't know how thumbs up really work uh, with YouTube statistics nowadays, but it does help a lot. And commenting helps the most. And sharing. I think two best things is comment on my video because I definitely read all the comments. I don't always have time to reply to everyone. I tried my best, but I definitely read all the comments and share my videos everywhere on Facebook and um, on uh, Twitter and what's another? Oh, Reddit is really good. Sharing my videos on Reddit really, really helps. So hopefully this will be the year that I not only hit 20,000 subscribers, that's the goal, but maybe exceed 20,000 subscribers. That would be awesome because the bigger I can get this channel to grow, the more I think I can try to partner up with some fish keeping companies to help um, to help this channel, but also give me some products to review and show off to you guys. Because I really want to show you guys a lot of cool stuff and uh, review a lot of stuff, test things out for you, so you can see how it works. Kind of like how I tested out uh, this light, even though um, this... Daniel paid for it and bought it for me. But it's kind of cool to see how it's working, um, how strong it is. Oh, no! I just knocked over my breeding container. And, okay, well... I guess... I guess... The endlers have been released. Here is the lovely endler male. And the female, there is a guppy female and also an endler female in here as well. Well, they're in here now. That happened. That was not as majestic as I was hoping for it to be. And also, this this breeding container is really difficult to keep from falling in. So there's that. See, there you go. Product review. And oh, I actually caught a beta by accident. Hello. Product review in action. Mistakes in action. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to put down the camera because this doesn't fit. I need to pick up the light so I can take this out. And also set free the beta. Got a cot in here. Where'd she go? Is she? No, oh, yep, she's still in here. She's like, why? Go free while well, you can. <laughs> so yeah, long video. Things are happening. And now we have endlers in, in the tank. So that's a thing. That's why I prefer these breeding containers because they float really well. This, on the other hand, not so reliable. So all, as you can see, the female just saw all the guppies and endlers and she's starting to flare at them. That's another reason why I prefer that she's in the breeding container right now. See? Because I don't really want her to be going after these fish. I want her to not be excited and get, get bored and leave them alone. This guy swam back in. He's like, please no. I'll be in here. So yeah! <laughs> this video, guys. This video. It's a long video, but actually maybe I can just drop this in here for a sec. Eh, let me get the clip out, because the clip is weighing it down. 
Ugh, there we go. Oh, so there, there you have it. Things happening live and failing, guys. Prog review! This is way better than this. I've tried attaching this with suction cups, failed, I tried to clip it, and then I had it propped up like with the light and the clip was holding it up. That didn't work. Goodness gracious. Things, things are happening. Huh. But, I think I'm gonna end this video because it is 20 minutes long. Super long. Actually vlog type long. Uh, I would prefer to make longer videos on my vlog channel, uh, Creative Pet Vlogs. So I'll be doing more of that there. But once in a while, I want to let you guys see my shenanigans. And of course, I want you guys to see my new lovely betta. I will definitely in the future, once they settle down, um, put them in the Creator Keeper and film them so I can have a cool like highlight of the color video. Kind of like how I have for the mustard gas. And for the copper metallic male, because I do like highlighting the different fin types and the color morphs and whatnot. So we'll be doing that. Hope you guys have an awesome day. You guys are the best. The awesomest. Thumbs up. Bye.